Hello, welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV. Last time we did Royal City Rabanasta, today we're doing Hell's Lid. This is not MSQ, but I did have to get to a certain point in the MSQ to unlock it. Where's the duty thing? Ready to, ready to rock and roll? Hell's Bells. Alright, um, so I am going to summarize part of the MSQ here that led up to it. Basically, uh, first thing that happened was Leaf held a meeting with some Alamegan people, trying to, you know, do peace talks, figure out what they want to do with the government. They're like, okay, we're doing like a republic in the style of New Eshgard, cool, cool, cool. And, uh, but there was like one of the evil, um, what are they called, the Kaliana, um, the, one of the snake people, and they were actually tempered, and they snuck in some crystals by tempering some of the gods, and it was like this whole setup to summon Sri Lakshmi, so we had to fight him off. We oh, I, even before that, like people were found out that we were holding four dollar and they wanted us to execute her. Um, uh, also, I'm playing healer, but I'll get to that and like the specifics of that in a bit. Um, anyway, uh, one of the party members has yet to complete this duty. <laughs> so what the fuck? So. For, like, Lise went to go get Fordola to help us out because she has, you know, an artificial echo, so she doesn't have to worry about, uh-oh. Uh, she doesn't have to worry about being tempered. Um. Oh, there's and my back. We fought off Sri Lakshmi. There was some stuff. Anyway, later on, um, we, w we went back to Doma because we heard rumors that, um, Gosetsu and Yotsu, somebody matching Yotsu's description, seemed to be around. And we were like, oh hey, maybe maybe they survived, as we obviously this? saw out of character. Um, yeah, I was stealing aggro, I guess, just because Summoner just kind of cracked. <coughs> Cracking my ass. Anyway, in the process of trying to find them, uh, we found <clears throat> Gosetsu's sword, which he pawned off for money after reaching Kugane. And Alphano bought it without a second thought, and he was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, the scions will pay for it. And then Tartru was like, you paid the listed price for it? You didn't haggle with them or anything? And he's like, uh, was I supposed to? How much money is this? And Tartru's like, this is an insanely high amount of money. <laughs> and he's like, whoops. Um, so, so, then so, so then Soroban was like, hey, it's okay, I've, I've got a money-making opportunity for you here. And this this is where we get into side quest territory, because you don't have to do this, but basically, to make make back the money, Tartru is like, yeah, we'll take you off on that, what do we have to do? And basically, we found this place, Hell's Lid, and apparently, this place is where a bunch of Oni came out a long time ago, and this legendary hero called Tenzen, not to be confused with Tencent, the Chinese corporation, um, fought them off, and then... With alongside his companions, the Four Lords, and then they uh, took took our residence down here and lived the rest of their lives with their treasure and shit. Oh god, uh, I don't good. remember where any of my fucking abilities are. I am uh, healing way less of your HP. I'm healing way less of your HP than I anticipated from that. I'm what I'm thinking it's because it's level seventy content. And I don't have the best gear. So, yes. Uh, Anyway, so healer's pretty straightforward overall. Um, uh, let's see, I wanna let's use an ass size. That should help. Um, damn, I'm having to do a lot of healing. Usually I'd only have to top you up with like one or two things. Whoops. I am a warrior, you shouldn't have to heal me that much. It's a little odd. What I mean is that um, each heal is doing a, w a way lower percentage of your HP than ah. I'm used to. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not down doing very good, because I don't remember how the hell this class works. And then we gotta go. Whoops, I did not realize the enemy was already just dead. That's, that's, this is your first time healing on camera? Yes, it is. Anyway, um... Here's a motherfucker. So, I start off with a dot, and then I just basically spam stone four. If it's trash pulls, I can usually sp uh, spam holy, because holy is like a AoE centered on me. It has a big delay, but then it will give them stun for three seconds, which is really, really good. It's a really strong mitt, um, especially when there's lots yeah. of enemies. Um, and then you can do this multiple times, but each time it'll be a little bit worse. Whoops. Uh, oh, right, I forgot I have a buff. What about plenary indulgence? I don't remember how that works. Uh, shit, I need to... Medica 2 this. Um, Medica, Medica 2 are like AoE heals. Medica 2 applies Medica, Medica a little two. bit of a uh, regen. I have like this bubble of regen I can do. And then... Fuck. There you go. I've got a couple of ways to do like instant quick uh quick and free heals. So I don't really want to be doing cure two that much. Um if I can help it. <laughs> uh Assize deals damage and heals, that's pretty good. Benediction is like my panic button basically. Okay, 
it's gonna go towards me, I think. Yeah, he's following me. What am I supposed to do here? Just run away from him. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna stay over here. Uh, I'm gonna pop down Asylum in the middle here. Um, this is the thing that gives me... Uh, my next spell is free. I don't know how this works. Uh, confession. Oh, okay. That's a... Okay, that's a thing that lasts for 10 seconds that makes my some of my heals stronger. Okay. Or at least some of them. This is Only a thing that... Dead. This is a f <clears throat> this is the same as Tetragraviton, but whereas this one's on a 60 second recast, this one costs a resource that slowly just builds up over time, and you can have up to three at a time. So, in general, the order you want to try to heal people with is Tetragraviton, a thought to solaces until you run out, an Assize, or like a Regen, or a, an Asylum or something, Benediction as a panic button, but if you're out of all those options and you just need to, you know, pump out some healing, pop like Presence of Mind or something and do Cure 2s. That's basically what you want to do. And of course I got my res, I got my, uh, my very simple, uh, like, damage <laughs> for when I'm not healing. That's basically it. Um, Mind Benison, oh, no, that's like a, that's a barrier. There's two types of healers. There's, um, like, standard healers and there's what are called shield healers. Um, this is just a normal healer, because it's a white mage. Um, I'm gonna be trying, uh, Sage at some point. I already have the class, I just need Sage to Lord. figure out how it works. It's apparently pretty complicated. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. at it's the not complicated, but there is a high skill ceiling. Okay. At the very least, I was told it should not be your first healer, so... No, because <laughs> it and Scholar both being barrier healers, such as they are, um require you to know the fight that you're going into in order to be effective. Mm. Or at least have good prediction. Yeah. Because barrier healers mitigate damage before it comes in. Yeah. Your healers fix damage after it comes in. Yeah, there's there's kind of there's kind of a uh, pros and cons to both because with the because with the um barrier healers shit. But the barrier healers, you kind of have to know the fight, but you can also then take things on your own time. Like, you don't have to be reactive, you can completely control the pace at which you do your stuff. I um, control the speed at which you die. Yeah. I really should be applying regen to you more often instead of doing straight heals. Regen is good. Do you have a, uh, an, like, instant regen? That you can do, or do you have does it have like a cast time? Oh no, my regen is instant. Yeah, I just okay. I'm always like it doesn't heal now. Right. Yeah, because astrologian has an instant regen, and I uh, I usually throw that on people like as soon as they start pulling stuff. If you do it beforehand, then it messes uh -huh. up the aggro. Yeah. But um, should be using hit holy. I'm forgetting. I don't realize there was any loot. I don't have any special glam or anything for my white mage. In fact, I don't even have one for my dragoon or my dancer yet. I'm <clears throat> behind and needing to uh, <laughs> do that. Um, I'll find a good time for it at some point. It's it, If I ever do have stuff to record, and I have a shit ton of stuff I can record today, if I ever have that, I always like to prioritize that. I'd like to go and see. Sure. Shut up and fish! Yeah, I actually, uh, my first class in the game was a conjurer. Um, yeah, so mentioned. I got really used to pure healing. And then I tried Sage, and I got really used to the idea of, wow, I can make it so that attacks, you know, don't do much. I can do something about it before they come in. That's awesome. And now when I go back to White Mage or Astrologian, I'm like, when I know an attack's coming in and there's nothing I can do about it, I'm like, what do I do? I'm panicking. I'm like, I, I can't do anything to stop this. Yeah. That makes sense. <clears throat> I wonder if that'll happen if I uh, use Scholar more, because I have been trying it. I finished all of its, like, John Quest yeah. stuff, and uh, I sort of learned what its abilities do. I haven't used most of them in practice, so there's a lot that I keep forgetting about, but... Uh, you know, I ran a little bit of content with it. It's just a very weird class, because it has, like, 
all these weird things you can do with like you know, here's this thing that uh, increases your MP, so you Whoa. only want to use this when you're low, but you have to do this to let you use these other skills, and here's this thing that puts your fairy away, which makes it so you can't use some stuff, but now you can use these. It's like, it's kind of a lot to keep track of. Hmm. I'm not used to seeing your summons. You don't play summons. Yeah, I don't... Much. No, I haven't been playing it much lately. It is a fun class, though. I should use it more often. I keep thinking and, uh, that you don't like it for some reason. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Well, it's just not his favorite DPS, but it's his favorite... Like, Well, I oh, say it's, it's my, his favorite it's class, but it's his it's only, my only magic one, but yeah. yeah. I'd say that uh, it's probably my second favorite after Dancer. Because I like oh. Samurai, but I think I like this one better. Mm -hmm. Monk, which I mean, haven't gotten to which means it's overall your third, because your favorite to do is Astrologian, yeah? Yeah. Come here! Oh, I didn't mention I this, but I also going. have uh, Asuna, which gets rid of statuses, which I'm really, really bad at actually paying attention to that. What do you mean liquid fluid is here? That's uh -oh. not in the old house. <laughs> That's not in the old I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Yeah, I used all my healing up already. I'm doing my best. I keep forgetting about plenary indulgence. Uh, Penisy indulgence. That's what the fine. fucking thing does. Whew, yeah, okay. there's gonna be there's gonna be a little tough with uh, um, Turtle boss. not the best gear. But... Ah, this should be. Mm. Oh, not no, not turtle. Never boss, mind. So. I forgot about these two ding dongs first. So yeah, the the four laws that we're gonna be facing off against are based on the. I never remember what they're called. They have some weird ass name. They're like the mansions or something of Chinese mythology. Um, Is it the things that the uh, like theory informs forces of nature? Yeah, the theory informs. The force of nature. From, excuse me, I was holding alt. I just wanted us to, to. Oh wait, can I hold these? What the hell is this? Hey, over here, jackass. Uh. Oh, he's fucking dead. All right. I don't think I'm doing too bad. You haven't died yet, at least. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, that's solid. You shouldn't have to do too much for me at all. The fact that you're even having to pull weight is weird to me. It makes me go It's to it's because I'm lacking gear. I've literally not had to do this in like all the level 50 and 60 content I've done. It's just because my gear is under level. Yeah, but I'm a warrior. I should be able to heal myself. I don't know then. At least for the most part. I need a little bit of healing, but it shouldn't be much. See, I think Genbu was the one that Therian and Amorous was based on. Uh, yeah, right. Namorous is like a weird snake soft turtle. shell turtle, so. Ooh, we got plus AoEs, I haven't seen those since Sri Lakshmi. Why do they sometimes call it Lakshmi and sometimes Sri Lakshmi? Shorthand? I don't know. You'd think that the uh, the enemy name would say Sri Lakshmi though, because it's the full name. But... I keep forgetting my fucking buff. Come on. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Uh, is this telling the you where you're going to move? Bubble water arrows, so don't be in the way of it. The bubbles? What? I don't know. I didn't catch what that is. There's, there's like a water a bubble, bubble, and it follows the arrows on the ground. Okay, I thought the arrows were going to move me. Or us, I should say. You will get another chance. He will do it again. Okay, you moving. will get yet another chance. He will do it again even.
Ah, hell. You gonna do your thing? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ooh. Everybody get him. Attacking a gate now. That's the uh, so much different gate than, uh, So much different from attacking the boss. Mm hmm. Survive, survive if you can, if you can but, but you must, must fight, fight others. others. Yeah. Bubble is gonna go uh -oh. Oh, through a fuck. lot of spaces, actually. I'm getting hit by this shit. Yep, I'm getting hit. There's nothing I can do. Uh. Hit the boss with one of these bad boys. Healing is almost like. There's a little bit of a puzzle aspect to it, where, like, sometimes you're like, what is the right tool for this job? Whereas, DPSing is, you know, you, you do Every tool thing. is always correct for every it's, job. Yeah, it's, it's, DPS it's using... is just do your rotation. Healing is figure out the best thing to do at the time. Tanking <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Nothing wrong with tanking. Tanking is you attack the boss. Tanking is really That's simple. That's it. That's what you do. I don't. I had fun with that. I like that dungeon. I think uh, we got this dungeon a disproportionate number of times in like a short I've period. I've run that dungeon. So it, you don't even know you said that how about many more well. times I've run it without you. That dungeon is incredibly common to get. And the reason is because it's one of the best ones for grinding like some relic weapon shit. So mm -hmm. people run it all the goddamn time. I see. So why did he turn into a normal turtle? <laughs> uh, that's his attack. Oh, how am I doing on tombstones? Yeah, I'm alright. Also, there's a... Uh, Bataru in her, like... Kugane outfit, because she decided to... You know, work here for a while. Tata She's still working for the science. <laughs> so, whose grand day out is uh, not happening yet? Oh. And suddenly your fan has happened. Good. I don't know why it's only audible sometimes. It's really weird. <laughs> and what the fuck is this weapon? By the Kami! How do I link the appearance of a thing if it's the glam being applied? Um, you... What you can do is try on the thing, and then <laughs> it'll show you the glam, and then try on the piece of gear listed in the chat, and that, that's Sorry, how you can that was do fucking it. good. Ah. Sorbonne's like, by the gods, I, or by the kami, I never would have thought I would have met a talking turtle. And then there's just dead silence as the Warrior of Light and Tartaru look over at Sorbonne, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Are we really hearing this from you, of all people? Uh, that has actually not worked. That is what I need to do to see what the unglam diversion looks like. What, what were you wanting again? I want to show you what this thing looks like, but if I try to share it, it's going to share the like base weapon, not the glam. So you want to show I... me a weapon that's been glamoured over? <laughs> I don't it. understand what you're saying. All right. <clears throat> I'll wait until the video's over, I don't wanna... Um, well, uh, the thing is, um, the next two duties are Fractal Continuum Hard and the Jade Stoa, and the Jade Stoa is part of this same storyline, and I'm wondering if maybe I want to put it in this video, because if I'm going strictly in order, I would combine it with Fractal Continuum Hard, but I feel like it makes more sense to be put here, I don't know. 
I agree. Uh, at the moment, I'm being asked to talk to NPCs. Get some info. I know it's not too long before I unlock it. It's like literally this same quest. Yeah, I don't know how to link it, so here's a shitty picture since it's not animated and it doesn't look that impressive. <clears throat> Huh, I wonder what that is. It's a neat looking weapon. Hmm. Uh, apparently it is a Shadowbringer's artifact weapon. Ah. Also, bigger bugger is definitely a thing. I looked it up. Oh. Well, I don't remember it. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So basically what I'm gathering is, the gist is, if something lives long enough, it becomes like this super powerful magical demigod type thing. Tenzin and the Four Lords were the examples of these, or at least the Four Lords were. But if you become that type of creature, there's two forces within you, one of like great calm and one of great rage. And if you, like, they can become imbalanced. And so there was this Koryu, which like, went into like a rage and so they had to seal it away. And now it's going to probably get unsealed. So we need to deal with it. Hmm. Okay, so first I need to go get the other lords, so I don't get to kill them. Oh my god, stupid line. Alright. Brook no further delay. So yeah, Genbu is the black tortoise of the north. I believe Byako is the white tiger of... It's either the west or the east. I don't remember. Byako's weapons look sick. Have you seen them? Nope. They're fucking awesome. I, want, I think it's the west. Because I think the eastern one is a dragon. Interesting. Okay. So this guy's not mad, but he's like on the brink of madness, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna let myself get mad and just, you know, focus my energy on protecting the calm part of myself, then you gotta beat up the mad part of myself. What is this? Bjarko. Is he? Yeah. And the other and the other two lords, uh, I guess it would be Suzaku, and I never fucking remember what the Eastern Dragon is. Siryu? Yeah, Siryu. Okay. But isn't yeah. Siryu a snake? Uh, maybe. I mean, it's like an Eastern Dragon. I thought, I thought, I thought it was the like, the Dragon of the East. I don't know. <clears throat> Called Tartaru an urchin. But why? I don't know. Technically incorrect, she's a potato. Papoto. Uh, 
Okay. Um, where am I going? I need to go to Yansha. Okay. Fine. Oh yeah, then that'll unlock Jade Stoa, I think. Yep. Okay, we're doing these in slightly a different order. I'm also now wondering, do I want to show up Reaper? I have used it for one class quest. Oh. I sort of know the rotation. <laughs> I didn't know you'd used it at all. Uh, yeah, as of a few days ago. Yeah, I guess I could. I also looked up what the fuck a stoa is. Apparently it's like a corridor. It's like an outside corridor with like columns on the side. Well, what the hell? You know that kind of thing? Uh, well, I can tell you this. The arena is not a stoa. <laughs> Let me double check that that is what it is. It's a roofed colonnade. It's like, yeah, it's basically an outdoor corridor with like columns on the side. Hey, Bjarko, what's up? So this guy was just a regular tiger that got really old. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> That's a... Uh... Hmm. Xanthi's not the type to brag. That's pants. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a tiger laugh. Is that better or worse than the clickbait tiger face? <laughs> I love the clickbait tiger. There was also the clickbait chicken, which I was a fan of. Alright. So we have the entrance to the Jade Stoa here, and I repeat, here, just this random spot on this cliff. Alright, um, are we, are we ready for Jade Stoa? I am DPS. Yep. <clears throat> Let me just remind uh, myself of my rotation here quickly. Let so me actually go do? Scholar then, so that I can get us all killed, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. It's it's fairly simple. Even for level 70. Okay, are we good? Yep. So... Oh, this is a trial? Yes. Okay. So, Reaper. Um, Reapage. You want to start with these two, Shadow of Death and Soul Slice. These two are just AoE versions. So it won't really be relevant here unless a bunch of ads can show up. Um... This one, let's see, this one... I don't know these off by heart, I just know that you start with these and you want to use them basically on cooldown. Yeah, this is 30 second cooldown, this is... Th this is like the, um... Edge of Darkness on, uh, Dark Knight, actually. Which is interesting, because that's a tank and this is a DPS, but it's a similar mechanic where it, like, fills up a bar halfway. And... Yeah, you just can just kinda... Do that. Um... So you use this, you get your thingy up, which increases your damage. Then you start doing your 1, 2, 3 over and over. Here's the AoE version, it's 4 and 5. And then when you have meter, you spend it on these. These are the AoE versions. The AoE one is simple, it's just Grimswath into Guillotine. But um, up here, you do Bloodstalk into either Gibbet or Gallows. But then the next time you do it, you want to do the other one, and you want to alternate. And also Gibbet is a... Let me see. Yeah, it's a flank positional, and then Gallows is a rear positional. So you want to. So whenever you use those, you either have to be on the side for this one or behind for that one. But other than that, that's it. It's literally just buffs slash meter on cooldown, one two three over and over, and then over here it's shift one two or shift one three, alternating. That's that's it. And if it's AOE, it's even simpler because you don't have to do the alternation. But it's otherwise literally the same. There's like AOE versions of all these. This. Is a weird thing. This is a this is my ranged hit, but it sucks. 
Um, <laughs> and that I also have a dash forward and a dash back, which also give me then a free use of... Or, sorry, an immediate use of a uh, harpe. Or harper, how do you say that? So yeah, I guess I could show this against a random enemy. May as well. Show this so I want to be blank and then I go one two okay well that thing's dead um dang I'm sorry I gotta go to the bathroom my stomach's killing me okay well, let's hope that the uh key doesn't pop at any time So the reason you want to alternate these is because whenever you do this one, it gives an enhanced version of this and vice versa. That's shown by the dotted line going around. That's all it really is. It's just better DPS. Nothing super special. Really quite a simple class overall. Bamboozled. Oh, oh. here we go. Yeah. It's your boy, Biako. You should take a look at his weapons. They're sick. I'll do that off the video. Do it right fucking now. I could have done it during the break, but, uh... God I damn didn't. it! Not back to your regularly, regularly scheduled programming! Your regularly, regularly scheduled means. programming. Oh, yes. that means... Oh no, I'm still a tank. Yeah, Bamboo Forest. What the hell? Oh. Where did you get this pretty, pretty princess fucking outfit? You asked me that the last two times I've won it. <laughs> This is my scholar outfit, which you know I never oh, use. Right. I never use scholar, but and that's yeah, why I, got... I never remember it because you never use it. Right. I mean, I only just got it like a few weeks ago. It <clears throat> was a. Uh... Oh no, he's pissing. It was he's something from. Uh... Okay, why does he turn into like? Oh, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why is he a tiger arm man? I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. This outfit is something from the gold saucer. There is no turning back! There oh, is shit, no turning back! Well, hopefully I can keep us alive, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this class. I have never used this in a duty before. Only in a solo duty. How am I supposed to rob Ooh. myself? Why do we have to get in the thing that's not even targeting someone? Ooh. Weird. No oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the class. Um... Yeah, melee classes are not usually too complicated. The exception seeming to be samurai, which I guess it's not complicated, oh. but it's got some stuff going on. Ooh, this guy's voice is, uh, something. Yeah. He sounds like a super mutant. Oh, fuck. He's emitting grapes. <laughs> okay, now I want to pop this. Okay. It's a little awkward to have to pay attention to his debuffs for when I'm supposed to, uh, do something. <laughs> I'm not used to any class being like that. Ooh. Oops, what? I play Reaper, that. I never look at his debuffs. Death's, well, because you have to apply Death's design on cooldown. I was actually mistaken oh. earlier when I compared it to the Dark Knight thing, because it doesn't feel like a thing like that. I think you can give him up to 60 seconds at a time. Let me test that theory. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah you can stag it twice. Okay, probably better than I do that then. Uh, this is from the back. Whoops, where'd they go? Do we, do we not want to stack with that guy? No, that's a no. getaway marker. Alright. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's a laser. 
Can I, it also, can I get to your, that was a, that was a very gu gun-bound laser sound. Did you hear it, Josh? Okay, I that for some reason didn't work. It didn't activate. Somehow I, I like lost the loop on my Gibbon Gallows thing. That was really weird. Let's want to use this. Okay, and then I guess let's use that. Okay, oop. <clears throat> oh, is this gonna be an action back to no time maneuver? Uh, no, it's gonna be something. Oh, adventure. <laughs> I don't know what I would compare this to. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The hell? <laughs> My wrath is a ceaseless torrent. Oh. Interesting. So we're flying through the air and the hammer is doing panty shots, good. Yeah. Is this an AoE? Yep. Oh, okay. I failed that one. Okay, so nobody can do any Aye. action, so nobody can get healed if they fuck this up. Correct. Nope. And nobody can mitigate these either. Interesting. I'm a fan. Oop. Uh. I like that falling is a, uh. <laughs> is it status condition? Deep up. Yeah. It's technically a debuff, yeah. Oh no. Any explanation for how they survived the fall? Uh, with a warrior blade. We're really good. We landed on our feet. To no, we To ashes with you. Oh no, he's, fire he's a fire in his laser. The fucking gunbound oh. noise again. <laughs> I like this, this guy's, guy's voice. got some haircut. Yeah, it's this... a very Hisuian Zoroark. Yeah, <laughs> this is the real Caliphasteri. Or Garaha in Josh's case. Is this traveling alley? I, like... I like how we both named yep. him after an FF14 character. Unfortunately, when I use one, I'm naming them off to something else. Did you have a Hisuian Zorark that you named Graha? Yeah. Why? Because it's, you know, red and white and... Oh, I see. ...cat-like, sort of. Not really, but... <laughs> I forgot Hop has a cost time. Ugh. I'm missing this. Ah, uh, where's my fucking there? Oh, yeah, I'm also missing this. A little this. late on that one. Why do we need to do it? Uh, I don't know exactly. Partially because of this, I guess. No, if we were over there, it would have been fine. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, that's a flank positional. Hmm. You know, I don't find myself bothering with uh, True North with this class for whatever reason. I have a hard time fitting True North into the rotation. I use way. it basically every time I would use a positional as Dragoon. <laughs> I use it if I, like, if the boss is at the edge of the arena and I literally can't hit them uh, from the side or makes back. Sense. That's yeah, about like it. That's what it's like supposed to be, I would say. Uh, so. Oh, uh -oh. boy. I like how I got hit by that because I was casting. I'm gonna pull this away from people. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Aside from the falling section, not convinced I've ever seen this boss fight in my life. <laughs> that was pretty fun, I like that. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Also my first time showing a Reaper on camera. 
I barely even use the thing at all. Well, I think this is probably my first time using Scholar in 70. <laughs> it didn't go that poorly, so. Two. <clears throat> I kind of like this class. I'll try to stick with it a little bit more. All right. Oh, I forgot to give a player commando. I'm sorry. I didn't. I, it looked like no one was even there anyway. I mean, maybe they weren't. I have no idea how long this video is because I'm gonna have to cut out a big chunk of it. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's all right. I, it's, it's, I probably it's not need to go to the bathroom again in a minute. I'm going to report this cutscene anime as well. Okie dokie. Little Piggy French Fries Comfy. Makes sense if you watch the video. The, the guy in the picture was doing the same pose. <laughs> All right. Jump sixty feet in the air. As you do. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to bother showing that part on camera. Uh, next time, Fractal Continuum Hard. See you then.